This video is sponsored by Glitch Energy. Use my code KevinCoolX for 25% off your purchase at checkout, but more on them later. So something big is in the works right now when it comes to a new mode coming into Halo, something we've never seen before. And some recent leaked information has some very interesting details I wanna point out to you guys. I mean, we're talking containment zones, drop pods, sun death modes, stuff like that. Well, if you wanna know more, stay tuned throughout the whole thing to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? Kevin here once again giving you another Halo news and informational video. If you like this kind of videos, so make sure you tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the video and channel within that all famous YouTube algorithm. And if you want to stay up to date with everything Halo related, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So let's get right into the content here. So do you see this right here? This is a menu of a secret mode we have not yet seen in Halo Infinite. This looks to be something completely different than anything we've ever experienced in a Halo game, which I'm like... Thank God, that's exactly what we need for this game. Twitter user Halo Hub, who's a good source when it comes to leaked information, tweeted this out saying that it looks to be a successor to Halo 5's Warzone, maybe in the works with Battle Royale like characteristics. We received this screenshot recently and we know others have it too. Uh, note, we don't expect this mode to be released anytime soon. They also mentioned how it might be tied in with the Tatanka game mode. That's uh, the project name for the certain infinity mode that's currently being worked on right now which they stated that it's supposed to be a game mode that's supposed to kind of bring people from like Apex and Call of Duty and Fortnite into Halo, which sounds very BR-like. But then we're looking at this right here, this menu talks about one thing, a respawn in drop pod, which I'm like, okay, dropping from a ship, that sounds like Battle Royale, right? For sure. Sudden death, I means like a one life mode, makes sense right here. Interesting thing to point out is a starting deployment key. So this could be a way for you to unlock chests or something like that within the mode to get better equipment or something like that. Really interesting thing here though, containment zone enabled. Now that's something very important to take a look at. When I hear the word containment involving Halo, well, there's one thing that comes to mind. It very much could be something involving the flood, which would be crazy cool to think about. I always thought that'd be a way more immersive experience if you're gonna do like a battle royale like experience to have like the flood closing in on a ring or out to the map compared to like just having a ring like we had like with attrition. How's it going everybody? Kevin here and I recently partnered up with the official brand of gamer wellness glitch. Now the reason why I recently partnered up with Glitch here is because they provide a pretty good product right here, like sugar-free drinks for you guys to kind of get that little extra edge when it comes to gaming. So if you want to check out Glitch, make sure to use my link. And if you want to pick something up for yourself, better use my code KevinCoolix for 25% off your purchase. Thank you Glitch for this opportunity, and I'll catch you all in the next one. It also mentions here like containment zone final location. That sounds very much like you'd have in Battle Royale and use containment zone final wander, which sounds like what happens oftentimes in Battle Royales now where it gets down to the final zone. If there's people still fighting, they will start moving away from the last location to kind of press the issue to get the motion of the battle going, which sounds fantastic, which I'm like, this screams Battle Royale more than Warzone, but there's another leak that recently just came out this morning as well from the same people. More options within this menu showcase uh, Alternate loot item table, sounds very much like a BR. Enable revives, execute enabled, which means like possible executions possibly coming in, assassinations maybe. We'll see if that's a little difference right there. I would assume executions be a little bit more different than assassinations. But we'll see, we have bleed out times, a use zone revive, revive times and things like that. Execute times, makes me just think like way more on the side of the battle royale and stuff. Halo Hub does say mention here saying a, uh, a follow up to yesterday's news about a potential new PvP PvE mode with some battle royale like characteristics coming into Halo Infinite. Note this suggests to us uh, assassinations may return or have Apex Legends style executions, which I'd say probably more along that line. That's how I view executions more than assassinations. You know, if they're going to have assassinations, I think they just call them assassinations. And Halo Hub does mention here, this is all kind of speculative information that, but they do feel that their sources where they got this from is rather authentic. So this could very much be true. This is, they are saying that this is something that you have not created, which I know the people at Halo Hub, at least somewhat. And I kind of trust them with saying they're not trying to, you know, get clickbaits or anything like that. Like this actually could be something that we need to take a look at, like a legitimate leak. Other Halo community members who are known for kind of getting information early also stated that this is not exactly a battle royale. And also Sir Asia, who's another Twitter user, mentioned about saying more tactics. Think tactics rather than battle royale, which I'm like, okay, that sounds kind of interesting to see like how to 
go about doing some kind of thing. So it's not gonna be like a straight up battle royale, it sounds like, but something with battle royale ca characteristics, but maybe something familiar to Halo, which honestly could be the good middle ground for people who want the battle royale and people who are very, very much against the battle royale, which honestly, I think a battle royale would work great in Halo. That's just my opinion. I think a lot of uh, infrastructure of the game modes are there and stuff like that. Uh, you just need to kind of create the map and create the game mode. But let me know in the comment section down below, guys, are you kind of interested in this game mode or do you just want like a straight up battle royale or do you want the return of Warzone to come back? I'm certainly willing to give this mode some interest to see what's going on. It sounds very familiar to what's going on with Certain Infinity with the Tatanka project that they're currently working on for Halo. Uh, whatever that game mode actually is going to end up being called. It sounds like a good compromise where it sounds like a like a battle royale, but not a battle royale kind of thing. If you guys remember this tweet from back in 2018, I remember this very well with uh, almost 8,000 votes on Sketch's Twitter. It says, just for fun, what do you think a battle royale mode in Halo would place as? And, you know, majority of people said, if you count the maybes as a yes, or even 50% of those maybes counting as a yes and all the heck knows being no, then even then, like, it's still kind of, like, right down the middle, essentially. Uh, mainly because I think a lot of people mainly don't have the confidence with 343 that they could pull off a Battle Royale mode. We've seen 343 try to duplicate popular modes within other games and honestly not pull it off very well. We saw that with Halo 4, trying to copy Call of Duty. Didn't work out very well where Call of Duty fans didn't like Halo 4 because it played like Halo. Halo fans didn't like Halo 4 because it played like Call of Duty. So it left no one happy. And then they tried doing like the advanced movement kind of trend that we're seeing from like, you know, Titanfall and I think at the time like Advanced Warfare and stuff like that from Call of Duty. And, uh, which I thought turned out all right, but it just didn't really feel like a Halo game. It felt like a different kind of experience, but have a Halo-like thing, where Infinite feels very much like a Halo game. Like, Infinite to me feels like Halo 3, but released in 2021, if they were going to remaster it, or if the game was to be released in this era. Personally, I think a Battle Royale mode in Halo could have a really good potential when it comes to the gameplay. Like, one thing I would say, like, if you're going to have equipment, like Overshield and Camo, I think that'd be really cool to have in the Battle Royale, but you want to be able to activate that when you need to, rather than right when you pick it up. We have that in Halo Infinite right now. Uh, I would like to have a nice large world to be able to you know play the game in, which we have the campaign map, which obviously a whole different realm when it comes to you know porting that over for multiplayer experiences. Uh, you need a ring, which we currently have that right now with attrition. You need to have a revive mechanic, which we had in attrition as well. And basically all you do need to do after that is just kind of randomize some weapon spawns and you're pretty good to go. I would think it would be really cool to in place those HVTs that we had in the campaign, but put them in the Battle Royale mode. And so then if you want to really get some really good weapons, you have to take on these HVTs, which kind of creates a PVE element to the whole thing as well, which we don't really see in any Battle Royale right now at the moment, which I think would be a really cool mechanic to bring in, which is kind of like a risk reward thing where like you risk making a lot of noise and taking damage, the reward being a really good weapon that does better than anything you can pick up. I'm just saying like the opportunity is there for a battle royale man i'm just saying i'm just saying i'm just saying but of course i'll keep an ear to the ground i'll keep you guys in the know on this channel so i'll keep you guys updated as this is a very developing story right now so thank you so much for watching greatly appreciate it. if you're new to the channel missed any content from recently check out this playlist right here Got link to all my halo infinite news and informational videos right there thanks so much for watching greatly appreciate it catch you all in the next one peace out